Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from book uh, Introduction of Quantum Mechanics by David J. Griffith. So this is very wonderful problem. So it is given that there is a potential and uh, the we know the solution of Schrodinger wave equation of that potential. So what is meaning of that? Meaning of that we have the Schrodinger wave equation I H cut del psi upon del T is equal to minus i h cut upon 2m del square psi upon del x square plus v x psi. So this is the solution. So what is the next thing? Suppose we are going to add some constant potential into this particular potential. So suppose we are just we have just new potential and this new potential is V dash and this is nothing but V X plus V naught. So when we are going to add some constant potential in the classical mechanics, the Newton's law is not going to change. But here what we have to prove, we have to prove when we are, have new potential, this V dash, then the new wave function is let's say psi naught is nothing but equivalent to psi that is the basically the wave function related to potential vx e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut so this is the basically solution of a potential v dash where vx v dash is equal to vx plus v naught so let's try to use this particular thing so what we will do, if this is also solution of Schrodinger wave equation, then it should satisfy this equation. So let's go for this. So we have I H cut del psi naught upon del T and which is equivalent to I H cut del psi e to the power minus I V naught T upon H cut upon del T. So this thing can be written as I H cut del psi upon del T e to the power minus I V naught T upon H cut. And as well as we have to differentiate this particular thing. So what will happen? This value is equal to basically minus i v naught upon h cut and a psi e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut. So this will be the solution. Now what we are going to do, del psi upon del t we can write from here. We can just write i h cut del psi upon del t is equivalent to. So this I can write as i h cut del psi upon del t e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut and this value is equal to h cut h cut is cancel and i into i is minus one so this value is plus v naught psi e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut now what we can do we can put i h cut del psi upon del t as this equation. So when we are going to put this equation, this value is equal to minus h cut square upon 2m del square psi upon del x square plus vx psi and everything is going to multiply with e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut and we have plus v naught psi e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut. So, and uh, psi into e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut is nothing but what? Psi naught. So, we can, and this is the position part. So, what we have? We have i h cut del psi naught upon del t is equal to psi into this part I can write psi naught. So this is minus h cut upon 2m 
del square psi naught upon del x square plus and we can just add this vx and this vx and we can take psi to the power i minus i v naught t upon s cut common so we have v plus v naught and this value is e to the power minus i v naught t upon sorry this value will be some psi naught so this value is psi naught so now this is solution of sorry this psi naught is solution of Schrodinger wave equation v plus v naught where this v naught is nothing but what constant potential so yes we can have this sort of solution if we know the solution of this particular vx and if we are going to add this particular potential which is constant in nature it is very important then we have new solution that psi naught is equal to psi e to the power minus i v naught t upon h cut and it's a very wonderful uh, concept that we can use into different to solving the different type of problem and the next part is that what will happen to expectation value of any dynamical variable into this on the basis on basically this particular psi naught on the basis of this particular psi naught so obviously this psi naught have only a special part as psi this has not any special part so there is not any change in dynamical variable for uh, then there is not any change in the average of that particular dynamical variable so that value means psi some dynamical variable psi is equal to psi naught and psi naught so this is the second part of this particular problem. So you can just solve this problem again with yourself and you can just use this particular concept to get the answer. Thank you.